Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to share a video of how I blow dry and style my hair using just the Shark Flex Style. I've had the Shark Flex Style since November of last year and I didn't really start using it until I got tape and extensions because I feel like for shorter, fine thin hair, it's not really worth the price tag. I got it on sale for like $2.50, but it retails for $2.99. And they did come out with like a newer color with more attachments. It was actually on sale during Prime Day for $2.99, the newer one with more attachments. And I feel like they will continue to keep coming out with new attachments, which is really nice. The main reason why I got it was for the curling barrels. It's very similar to the Dyson. I've never used the Dyson, but I have friends that have it and love it. And for short, fine, thin hair, I just feel like it really wasn't worth it. I would much rather use a curling rod. My curls held so much better using a curling rod. I was able to control the curls. But if you want those loose, beautiful, bombshell, effortless waves, then I would say the Shark Flex Style is definitely worth it. It's a lot cheaper than the Dyson, and it's a truly a really great product. And I know, I know there are tons of videos out there, but I just kind of want to do a video of how I personally use it and style my hair. Nothing revolutionary. It's just, I'm just gonna share how I use it. I do already have all of my hair products in my hair. I'll use like a hair serum and then I go in with a leave-in conditioner. Usually I'll use a blow-dry cream. This time I used a purple shampoo moussey foam that my sister-in-law gave me. Um, and I feel like that's really gonna give a little bit of texture to the hair as well as a little bit of volume. It was like a purple volumizing mousse, perfect for blonde hair from Ava NYC. And then I go in with a hair oil. I use the Olaplex hair oil and that's kind of like my trio hair care routine. Usually I'll use three products, leave-in conditioner, like a blow dry cream or a mousse and then an oil on the ends and that's kind of like my go-to so i do already have hair products in my hair and as you can tell it is pretty damp so when it is too damp your hair won't really grip onto the curling rods as well because the hair is too heavy so you're gonna have to go in with a couple rounds to curl it until it's dry so what i like to do is i personally like to give it a rough dry and because the shark is an all-in-one it has the hair dryer option as well. It uses airflow, not heat, like a typical curling iron. And I used the nozzle attachment here, which is great for taming frizz as well. And as you guys probably know, the shark kind of angles like this. So I kind of like to angle it and then just give my hair a rough dry until it's probably about 70% dry. And I say 70% because tape and extensions take forever to dry, so I would sit here for forever trying to rough dry it. So I kind of get tired around the 70% mark. So that's what I'm just gonna go ahead and do real quick. Okay, went ahead and gave it a rough dry. Again, it's probably about 70% dry. It's still pretty heavy and wet, so I'm gonna have to go in a couple times when I'm going in and curling it. If you want, you can dry it 90%. I feel like it would be a lot easier. I would probably do 90%, but I feel like tape and extensions just take forever to dry, so I'm just gonna roll with it. But what I'll do next is to separate my hair into sections. I like to start with the bottom section. It's just a lot easier for me to work this way. I saw that the new shark has like a few clips that it comes with, very similar to this, so that was kind of nice, but these I already had from like other tools that I bought. The Shark does come with two curling barrels and you can see that it has arrows on it. I like to curl my hair away from the face so you can see this arrow is pointing that way. So this half of the hair up until the halfway point, I curl away from my face this way. And then this half of my hair from the halfway point, I curl away from my face that way. I don't know if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So to make it easier, I place this curling barrel on this side and this one on this side. So when it came, comes time to like swap them out, it's just easier for me to work and remember that way. Just like a little tip that I do. But I'm gonna start off with this side of the hair and I'll take a little section. You don't want your section to be too thick. So you wanna grab like a pretty decent section. If it's too thick, it's gonna, you know, be a little bit heavier, might not get the curl that you want. You kind of like figure it out as you go. And I like to keep it on the medium heat setting because the shark does get extremely hot. I mean to the point where there's like steam coming out of your hair. For some people's hair types, that might be what they're looking for. They really need that higher heat. For my fine thin hair, I do not, especially for extensions. So I like to use it on the medium heat setting and then I'll use it on like full blast in terms of airflow. I also wanted to mention that I do not use the cool shot setting. I know some people will like go in with the cool shot setting. It does have a cool shot and then let the curl cool off. I feel like it just takes so much more time this way. So I just don't do it. I just turn it off and then let the curl go and that's it.
All right, that was the last section. What I do for this section here is I start in the back. I do the same thing when I use a round brush in a hair dryer. Kind of like brush it out and using the curling rod attachment here, I'll go in and curl all these sections away from the face, section by section by section until I get all the way to the front. And then you just go ahead and brush it out. So you go ahead and gently do that. And that is essentially all that I do. I love how it looks when I initially just blow dry it. Eventually my hair, especially these pieces here, do kind of like fall a lot more flat. The curls do loosen up a little bit, but hair extensions hold curl very well. And I don't really have to worry about curling my hair for like another day or two. I'll just touch it up sometimes. Yes, it does take a while, but the curls hold really well. I'll just kind of like touch it up throughout the next day or two. And that's essentially how I use the Shark Flex style to give me these gorgeous loose bumps, shell curls. I don't know. I love the outcome, so I just wanted to share it in a video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I'll see you in future videos.